A trail camera gets an extreme close-up of a chilling non-human eye. A strange black figure in the middle of the field, a ghost saunters through the woodland on all fours and vanishes amongst the trees. These are just a few of the things we'll look at, so stick to the end. There's something creepy in the woods. There's something terrifying visible out of just the corner of your eye. A cyclist tears through the woods at night, and his camera captures something strange to the left of the screen. A figure looms, tall and menacing. A weird tube-shaped head, visible arms and torso. It appears to be wearing a suit. Is it some kind of bizarre totem? Or could it be a scarecrow? Problem is, this isn't farmland. This is the middle of the woods at night. The perks to living in the country are numerous. Wide open spaces, beautiful scenery, nature at its wildest and finest. Problem is that when something stares you down from behind a tree, there's no one to save you but yourself. Watch as this woman captures the face of something strange watching her. Oh my goodness. Hey, Zach. I could have sworn. See, Zach, there is, yeah. some, there is a man over there. What? I'm not even playing. You need to go check it out. There is somebody over there. Caught on camera, for only a fraction of a second, the creature cautiously sticks its neck out before returning to hide from view. The footage is zoomed in from some distance, and the angle makes it difficult to decipher a body. The head is almost too round in shape, and apart from its eyes, the other features are masked in black. Height is difficult to gauge exactly, but it appears to be quite tall using the gate at the back for sale. The footage is low res, but on closer viewing, it is possible to make out what looks like the hemline of a dress. Is it a woman? Why is she stalking them? The sense of being watched is made even more creepy by not being able to discern what is watching you. If you have a clue what this might be, then let us know in the comments. A trail camera set up in the hopes of catching the activity of nocturnal fauna captures way more than anyone had anticipated. Watch the zoomed in footage as a transparent object comes into view from the left hand side of the screen. At first it appears to walk, but then as it comes more clearly into focus, the demon's shadow begins to crawl on all fours, its freakishly long body resembling some kind of awful reptile. The fiendish nightcrawler disappears from range, no doubt off, to haunt some unknowing camper. One wonders how it came to haunt this forest and why it can't leave. It's not always clear why people set up cameras in the woods unless the goal is to capture unsuspecting wild animals going about their business. But every now and then they get more than they bargained for. Check out the following trail footage. What the f is that? Four days ago. Oh my god, I don't even want to touch my laptop, bro. I feel like it's looking at me. An extreme close-up reveals that something is looking back. An inquisitive yet somewhat sinister eye peers deeply into the lens of the camera, the gesture almost threatening. Perhaps sightings like these will become more common. Perhaps they will start to communicate their intentions. But for now, they are watching. The sound of a child's laughter. Is there anything more delightful? Except when a child's laughter is heard and the child doesn't exist. A night security man experiences a truly harrowing encounter with an entity on what is to be his last shift. The distinct sight of a child's hand is visible on the low level glass window as it bangs on the glass and laughs in pure joy. <laughs> <laughs> as the security man rounds the corner, you expect to see the child, but just as abruptly as it started, the commotion stops. Nothing. The night shift security man hands in his notice the following day. It seems child's play is not for everyone. There's something about the fear and energy in this video that makes it both terrifying and exciting. Cell phone footage 
appears to capture what looks like Bigfoot running between the trees. Sammy, what was that? What was that? What was that? Sammy, what? What? Wait, just... Whilst there is a lot of scrambling and panic to record the moment, the actual footage is pretty clear as far as recordings go. Are you convinced? And for all intents and purposes, bears a striking resemblance to many of the other sightings we have witnessed here. But there is something about the way it is running that makes me a skeptic. Bigfoot or not, let us know in the comments. A street security camera captures a bizarre occurrence. A humanoid figure with long limbs is spotted bounding on all fours through the deserted street. There are two things that make this footage disturbing. Firstly, the creature is naked, and secondly, it shows remarkable agility, if it is human, to move at such pace on its hands and feet. It scurries off as an animal would with no evidence of where it came from or where it is escaping to. Is this another skinwalker sighting? The witch on her way to hex her victim? You be the judge. Is this another skinwalker sighting? The witch on her way to hex her victim? You be the judge. The thing about ghost sightings is that they are not always dramatic or even that visible. Something caught moving in your peripheral vision, an alarming sound that you can rationalize away by blaming the wind, a fleeting dark shadow on the stairs when no one else is around that disappears as quickly as it appears. Small occurrences that are no less disturbing. Watch as this poster captures a dark, shadowy figure moving up the stairs and vanishing from sight. It seems unlikely that whatever is there is human, as it disappears way too quickly. The first few seconds of this video are bizarre. A group of Frenchmen out on camping trip are traipsing through the dark without a flashlight, presumably returning to their campfire. The mood is jovial but soon changes when the area being filmed is suddenly illuminated, as if by magic there is a campfire burning gently. But that is not what our attention is meant to be drawn to. It is what is directly behind the fire, peering out from behind the tree. A hairless, ghostly white cryptid looms. Its dead eyes, like two dark pools in its head, stare back at the campers from its vantage. Some suggest it's a skinwalker, associated with bad omens and death. It prowls the forests in its pallid disguise with malevolent intent. The cameraman grows quiet in the creature's presence, and the mood changes. What happens after the sighting is anyone's guess, but I'm not sure I'd have stayed to find out. The following footage is difficult to decipher, obviously zoomed in significantly. The poster claims to have captured Bigfoot in plain sight. Granted, I cannot dispute the fact that something is there, large, and covered in fur and does not appear to be a bear, but beyond that, it is extremely difficult to say for certain. Watch closely as the creature who appears to be aware it is being watched moves ever so slightly. Do you think this is what the poster claims, or is just too much of a reach for the imagination? A snowy night, two hunters are out and armed with guns. As the snow begins to fall, two glowing eyes become clearly visible to the right of the tree straight ahead. The hunters are being watched and possibly hunted. I don't hear it anymore. Oh shit, Dill. Right there, bud. Something in there. There's more than one. They're watching us. Hey! The person filming sounds visibly afraid because whatever that is that is watching them is not the only one and instinctually something about this presence tells him that it is not an animal. The unblinking eyes continue to stare in the direction of the men, undeterred and unafraid of being shot. There's a reason they don't want us to speed, and it's got nothing to do with the rules of the road. It seems that once you break the acceptable limit, you might just end up like these guys on a literal highway to hell. Keep an eye on the rising speedometer, but wait for the moment our attention is drawn to something else visible on the side of the road. <laughs> Hey, 
What can only be described as a demon stands watching as the car speeds past in a fury of pedal to the metal. For a moment, its distorted features are visible as what looks like smoke, but is more than likely the quality of the video taken at high speed, is seen rising off the top of its head. Perhaps it's just as well they were flying past. I wouldn't want to give that terrifying hitchhiker a ride. A generation of us kids were traumatized by Chucky, and later it was Annabelle. Malevolent dolls with murder on their minds possessed by demons and able to move on their own. This poster claims to have discovered these creepy dolls in the basement of her new home. Seems the previous owner didn't want them. She also claims that one of the dolls appeared to move on its own. Notice how their eyes follow you and never stop. What would you do with them? Villagers capture a strange creature on the roof and remain surprisingly calm considering its appearance. It's possible to identify a shape and two bright eyes emanating from the darkness. The growing group of onlookers seem more bemused than terrified. It's possible they've seen this entity before. The creature remains surprisingly calm and still throughout. <laughs> On initial viewings, it might be easy to dismiss this as a human. It does seem to possess a human body, and whilst relatively large, the limbs are proportionate. Where it becomes harder to reconcile the theory is the facial features, particularly those eyes that seem too far apart to be those of a human. Thankfully, it seems to be calm in spite of the attention it is receiving. This magnificent lynx is spotted navigating a frozen river. As it steps out onto the ice, a sound not unlike a crack is heard. The cautious predator decides not to risk an icy dip and effortlessly leaps to the other side. A lynx has large legs that allow them to jump up to 6 feet off the ground and up to 25 feet horizontally. This jumping ability, coupled with a robust skeletal structure and well-muscled body, allows the lynx to easily navigate rug terrain and catch prey with remarkable efficiency. This natural athleticism is a key aspect of the lynx's hunting strategy and is a distinctive feature of this elusive wildcat. This poster manages to capture a furry bipedal creature running through the woods. The footage, which is remarkably clear, shows the creature making a quick escape from something or someone. The woods seem to be a cesspit of terrifying entities, and this one is no different. Have they unwittingly captured another Bigfoot on camera, or is this a hoax? Again, watch how this creature moves when compared to other sightings. There's something quite comical about its gait. Either way, the sight of something running in the nearby woods at night would be disturbing, especially when the creature in question appears to be neither animal nor human. The footage you are about to watch was recorded in the early 90s on a handheld video camera. The videographer was on holiday with his family, and they decided to take a day trip to the exquisite Mono Lake. Whilst his children played on the beach, he panned the camera to get a shot of the landscape. They left and remained oblivious to the fact that they may have just captured a Sasquatch on camera within a short distance from where the children were playing. The video remained uncovered for 17 years until a family member discovered it and noticed something strange. Granted, it's only a few seconds and fleeting to say the least, but there is something there that makes your blood run cold and cannot easily be explained. Watch closely as the large, brilliantly camouflaged creature moves and becomes visible. Emerging from between the rocks, it lumbers forward before turning abruptly on its heels and making as if to leave, possibly because it sensed it was spotted. Is this the legendary Sasquatch? 
Some have suggested that the video is a hoax, citing the one-dimensional shape the creature takes on when it turns as being a cardboard cutout, but this is not easily reconciled as the quality of the tape is poor when zoomed in. You be the judge. It's late. You're in bed. You've switched all the lights off and your eyes have become accustomed to the dark. If you look around your room, you start to see shapes. The clothes you flung over the chair start to look almost human. The more you look, the creepier and more realistic it becomes. This poster claims to hear someone crying in her room. Watch as her camera films in the direction of the noise and captures a human figure standing in the darkness. Do you guys hear that crying? Look, it's moving. What the f is that? What the f and there's something over there crying. Do you guys see that? Do you guys hear that crying? Look, it's moving. It seems to have its back to the camera and is wearing a dress. Faint sobs are barely audible. Do you see it? We featured a lot of Skinwalker videos here on Trail Terror, but some of you might still be wondering what exactly these creepy creatures are. In Navajo culture, a close but not exact translation describes it as a witch. This was someone who committed unspeakable acts to obtain the power to shapeshift in order to do harm. Skinwalkers often take on the shape of animals, but more often than not, they appear as these ghostly white entities. Watch as this poster spots something disturbing behind the shed. Shooting in the direction of the sighting, she captures a featureless, deathly white face looking back at her. Oh my god, nobody is going to ever believe this. All right, we're going, we're going back inside. One can also hear the sound of a child crying, but it has an almost echoey quality, as though it is not a human voice. It is not stated, but it is possible that the sound of the child crying is being mimicked by the skinwalker. It is claimed that they use this ability to fake the voice of a loved one or someone in distress to lure victims to their death. Sightings of skinwalkers are often considered personal attacks in that someone has put a hex or curse on you. It is confirmed the aliens are here, and they have some truly phenomenal powers of disguise. Watch as this shocked poster notices something untoward when looking up at the sky. At first, it looks like a cloud, but then it starts to move. Yes, clouds move you say, but no, not like this. Before our eyes, the camera captures the cloud transform into some kind of spacecraft or UFO with lights in it. The aliens are not even trying to hide as the spacecraft moves across the sky and vanishes behind the houses. These sightings are becoming more prevalent and the quality of the videos is improving too. It's almost as if they want us to see them. Notice how slowly the UFO progresses across the sky. The first couple of viewings of this video definitely had me perplexed. A lady in white has all the makings of a scary movie. And we can see this lady passing the security guard, after which she just seems to vanish into thin air. The fact, however, that the security guard seems to almost appear out of nowhere as well, makes me deduce that the CCTV quality is not the best. There seems to be a specific glitchy spot, making things disappear in that particular place. But there is always the chance, of course, that neither the lady nor the security guard were real, and that both are ethereal bodies from another dimension, both caught on camera appearing and disappearing. Tourists in Asia capture footage of this incredibly beautiful and unique looking squirrel. The nimble and agile animals easily scale the wall with its lengthy drop and do not appear to be afraid of humans. The origin of the video is unknown and the species depicted is described only as a squirrel. It's hard to imagine such beautiful animals even exist. Its bright red fur and striking eyes make it look outer-worldly. Could this be one of China's famous flying squirrels, or flying foxes as they are sometimes known? 
The ease with which they move from great height would indicate so, as would the manner in which its body flattens and fans out when it is seen jumping from the wall to the ground. If you know what this amazing animal is, let us know in the comments. This video was caught by a hunter who was bothered by these sounds. It is obviously an animal of some sort. Perhaps in distress or maybe giving warning sounds, this is one of the creepy noises you're ever likely to hear, particularly if you're alone somewhere remote at night. This sounds have caused a wave of speculation as it has captured imagination of many wondering what it could be. Most have suggested this to be from a maybe a moose or an elk. What do you think? Is it the mating call of a randy moose, a trapped bobcat, or something more sinister? Let us know your guesses in the comments below. This is a clip of a really unnerving scene. From far you might think your mind is playing tricks on you, until we zoom on the strange figure. It looks like a really tall humanoid shadow is holding onto the pole beside it. It is something unfamiliar and out of the ordinary, and I have never seen anything like it examining its physique. Our attention is drawn to its elongated limbs and stretched out body. Could it be a person dressed in all black, possibly to cause speculation? a shadow of something tall causing a glitch in the camera, or an optical illusion created by certain lighting conditions, or in an eerie case we could be in a presence of some sort of spirit. This video was recorded by a person who claimed the area to be infested by an anomaly, the Bigfoot. He was daring enough to take an adventure in the middle of the woods at night alone, and is met by something lurking in the dark. As he shines his flashlight into the forest, he sees the reflection of the eyes of a big animal relentlessly staring at him. Okay, I need to figure out what this thing is before we go any further. <clears throat> there he is, right there. See him? This sends chills down his spine. Just then, a towering pale shadow swiftly passes between the trees going in the right side. We cannot understand what the figure is due to the darkness. Our attention immediately shifts from the uncanny presence to the queer sounds that rent the air. Well, I think this could be just a mere mountain lion out in the night hunting for a snack. This camera caught a Bigfoot in 2015. Although the video is low quality, the details are pretty visible. The massive creature, covered in a rich coat of black hair, can be seen walking towards a certain point. It stops, and one can see it extending its really long arms towards the tree trunk. At the same moments, it starts to shake the tree with sheer strength. It is both awe-inspiring and terrifying at the same time. It leaves the tree and proceeds to another. What was the Bigfoot doing with the trees? Was it trying to take the tree down? Or it could be some sort of communication between Bigfoot entities? The local authority in this area had detected some movement on a private property and went on to check what it was, only to see this. Hey! You're on private property. He immediately stops when he sees a furry figure stalking amidst the bushes. This startles him. A form of light can be seen flickering in the bushes. Suddenly, the figure emerges from a thicket. It is enveloped by a dense covering of hair due to the low lighting in the footage. We cannot see its face, but what is visible is its short stature. As if agitated, this figure starts approaching the person recording, and this frightens him, and he turns to retreat in the other direction. I wonder what this thing could be. 
supposedly a Bigfoot, or just a really creepy intruder. This security camera caught this very scary occurrence at a certain checkpoint. A car can be seen approaching the security checkpoint. As it stops, something seems to be really strange. The car appears to have no driver at all. And the guard surely notices this, all these weirdness. He gets out to investigate what really could be going on. Suddenly, something on the roof of the car terrifies the daylights out of him, and he drops to the ground in panic as he scrambles away. Our attention shifts to the apparition on the car. It seems to be pretty real to me. Due to the darkness, I can't make out what this strange figure is, but it is surely scary from the guard's reaction. These two uncanny events truly perturb one. Where was the driver? And what's the creature on the roof? Could be witnessing a ghost driver. These two guys were out for a walk when they recognized something moving between the trees. As one of them continues recording, we can see a creature's head bobbling up and down as it walks. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. What is that thing, man? I didn't know it was that fing big. It's not coming up here, is it? No, it's. I didn't think it recognizes, man. Calm down, be quiet. Shortly, it emerges. A black, enigmatic figure. It is really immense that the people recording exclaim with astonishment. It is not aware of the people watching it, and it casually strolls away. From the huge steps it is taking, I think it's a really tall creature. This bipedal subject seems to be enveloped in a thick coat of fur. Do you see how it's walking while arms hang down its side? This depiction aligns with the general perception of the Bigfoot. This homeowner was in his roof, repairing a faulty cable when he seemed to see something lurking in the shadows. When this footage is slowed, upon closer scrutiny, we can see an unknown figure that seems to be stalking. Then suddenly, it lunges back to its hiding place. The man surely spots it and immediately scurries away not wanting to know what this frightening creature could be. This could be a raccoon or a small furry animal. The residents of this house had been receiving unexpected guests in their home. Their visits were now a nuisance, so he decided to film this encounter. We can see him closing the door, and after he goes back, the door opens, and what's shocking is that there is no one behind the door. His dog is aware of this weirdness and barks in confirmation that there might be an intruder. He closes the door one more time and the same happens. Little buddy. But this time, an unearthly humanoid figure can be seen in the darkness down the fleet of stairs when we zoom at the door. This is very scary and as if it is not enough, the door closes itself, and when opens, the queer subject shapeshifts into a really enigmatic figure. This is spine chilling. The quality of this video is impressive, and I don't think it's edited. The dogs in the house were going crazy. Were they seeing something paranormal unseen to the human eyes? But surely something very creepy could be roaming in this household. This hunter has been on the trail for Bigfoot, and he disclosed a footage that claims to be entailing on the Sasquatch. This is the grassland where he caught the infamous creature. As he records, within the tall grass, a brown-haired creature appears and seems to be walking bipedally towards the left. It has a huge frame and a towering height. This description perfectly fits the Bigfoot characteristics but maybe it could be a lost orangutan roaming in the area, or a man in a costume performing a hoax just to cause a show. The internet is filled with videos of bizarre events, and this one displays a truly perturbing one. Recently, a video recorded by an unidentified man in the middle of the night has gone viral on social media, frightening people from all over the world. In the video, 
An uncanny figure can be seen gliding through the air freely. It is far from the recorder hence. I can't depict what it is, but when closely examined, this object resembles a human form from its upright posture. Our technology is really evolving, and you might find this to be some kind of invention that can be remote controlled in the air or eerily. Can it be the witch from the fairy tales floating on her broom? This is a recording during the day where this man caught something strange on the left side of the road. As the car continues going, a strange black figure can be seen standing still. When the video is replayed, we can see it more clearly. It has a human stature and it is somehow lanky. What seems scary is that it is engulfed in a black coating from head to toe. I'm not sure what this really is, but it surely has a striking resemblance. Could we be in the presence of a Bigfoot, or this could be a more sinister case? This is a strange sight documented by a cryptid lover as he tries to uncover the conspiracies associated with the Sasquatch. When he nears the tree line, a tall hunched figure passes across the dense foliage. It can even be seen turning its head and looks in the direction of the man and it's as if it does not spot him. It seems to be a two-legged creature. Cloaked in a shroud of dark, coarse hair, this creature's massive form blends seamlessly into the shadows of the forest. The cryptid enthusiast is scared to his bones with the unsettling nature of this humanoid ape-like figure. It all seems natural and not some fake costume. It does look real. What are your thoughts on Bigfoot? Do you think it actually exists? The owner of this house was reviewing his security camera footage when he came across something that he perceived to be weird. In the recording, we can see a certain person coming out from a room, and as he switches the lights off and closes the door, a strange white apparition seems to be following and hovering behind him. I don't think this could be something threatening, and maybe this guy could have exaggerated whatever he saw. Maybe it could be a reflection or something harmless. This is one of the incredible videos of what appears to be the Bigfoot. The video was captured in Eastern Europe. Look at the cryptid as it navigates its way through the forest. It is a really huge creature, bipedal in nature. The monster seems to be walking in a hunched position, and this specific Bigfoot has its back arched at an angle. Its muscular frame speaks of untamed power and agility, allowing it to traverse the rugged terrain with remarkable ease. Notice how the creature's arms are long and hang low, almost reaching to its knees. This Bigfoot is odd, and not like the others. It is covered in a deep orangish coat of fur, instead of the usual black or brown. Seeing this video is just amazing. It looks pretty real and convincing, but what do you think? Do you think this is a real trail cam video of a Bigfoot that set off the motion detection of the camera, or is it a fake continuing on the theme of Bigfoot? This Vietnamese spotted something very bizarre and recorded all with his phone camera, with just a normal view. The eerie figure cannot be spotted, but can you closely look in between the large green leaves? A shocking glimpse of a humanoid face becomes visible. This is pretty spooky, and just looking at it can give you nightmares. Look at how it is staring intently at the recorder with its mystical eyes. Its facial features are very human-like, but its skin is leathery and very ethereal. Looking at this just gives me the creeps. What do you think it is? The people recording this video can be heard exclaiming in awe and wonder. They seem to have caught something lurking in the nearby forest. There, look! Where? Behind that tree there, do you see it? There, there look! Where? It's moving! Where? And there, what was that? One person can be heard saying that there is something behind the trees. And true to that, a dark, large, hulking image can be seen moving along the tree line. The mysterious subject seems to be a very tall one. This might not be a normal bear or any creature that we know of. This one has a striking resemblance, and the size of that thing is remarkable. No doubt this is some sort of cryptid creature, a Bigfoot to be specific, 
The Sasquatch only comes to mind when we see the footage once more. This folks truly caught a bizarre encounter out in the woods. What you are about to see is really frightening and leaves one wondering the existence of such. The people recording this video were heading home when they ran into this eerie paranormality. Something eerie seems to be floating and gliding in the air. Due to the darkness in the area, one cannot figure out what this is, but its outline looks like that of a human. On the other hand, I approach this unusual happening with skepticism, as I think it could be a kind of a prank playing on the witnesses. Maybe it could be a drone with a sheet over it made to look like a ghost, and could be a simple prank. In this video captured by a security camera, all seem normal. Just a woman walking casually to the other side of the house. But wait, do you see it? A small creature appears behind the car. As the woman goes back to the house, she does not seem to recognize the weird animal, and even the animal tries to go after her. But it changes its mind and it stalls. The creature has weird characteristics, and I have never seen like this one before. Notice how it has really long black hair running from its head. Its head resembles that of a goat. Also, what's recognizable is that its hind legs seem to elongate it and has a white, ghastly appearance. Could this be some random animal? Or is it a kind of cryptid? The debate about the existence of ghosts has been going on for ages and is never ending. While some believe in supernatural spirits, others are totally against it. Although both these factions have their own reasons to justify and defend what they believe in, one cannot deny the curiosity ghosts generate. Moreover, time and again, eerie incidents give air to the fact that they actually exist. This incident documents it all. This man witnesses an encounter with a ghost. Okay, so I will say I'm stupid for drinking. Uh, that knife fell out of that little knife container thingy. No. No. As he films, one of the knives from the knife block is taken by an invisible force and dropped to the ground in an upright manner, landing on its tip. This is pretty frightening, but this guy recording does not seem to be really scared by this strange occurrence. Could be a ghost behind this uncanny happening. A park ranger had set up a trail camera in the middle of the forest and caught this up close view of this black bear in the night. The wonderful animal can be seen approaching, but it appears to be limping. Could the lone animal be hurt? From its position, I cannot see any indications if the animal is hurt. Maybe it could have come across a bear trap, or it was engaged in ferocious battle in the wild. In the following footage, a remote control drone is taken out for a spin in Salt Fort State Park, Ohio. As the pilot takes it out on a test run practicing its hovering capabilities, he unintentionally captures footage of a large dark figure lurking amongst the trees. Pay attention to the left side of the screen. The footage is easily missed. It looks like a large black dot. But watch as the video is enhanced with a spotlight. The figure becomes unmistakably clear. The drone is eventually lowered to the ground, and the unsuspecting pilot comes to claim it was completely unaware that only a few feet away this hulking creature is standing, more than likely aware of him, listening to him, watching him. His spectator, he, he's not standing that far away. Not far enough for me. What do you think? Is this footage authentic? A bright and warm summer day. This poster is enjoying time out in nature, but they are not the only ones soaking up the sunshine. Watch what becomes visible when they spot a shape in the distance. Zooming in with the full capacity of the phone camera, a familiar figure is recorded resting against a tree. Recognize the ape-like features, the color of its fur, Imagine its size if this video was filmed and zoomed in from some distance. Imagine you're hiking through the woods with your dog. 
suddenly you become aware that you are not alone. Just beyond, in a clearing through the trees, you spot a large dark shape resting on a tree stump. In this footage, the poster appears to capture something large, black, and covered in fur. The quality of the video is poor, but a shape is visible, as are its movements for a fraction of a second. Beyond this, it's anyone's guess, whether it's Bigfoot or a bear. He's moving, he's moving, he's moving. Daisy, come here. Daisy, come here. All we have to go on is the conviction of the poster's claim and the rising fear in his voice as he calls out to his dog. Not all First Nation beliefs around Sasquatch are favorable. Whilst some believe that sightings of Bigfoot bring good luck, members of the Plateau tribes identify Bigfoot as a stick Indian. Drawing from a diverse range of potentially hostile beings who stole salmon or confused people by whistling, causing them to get lost. Here, a poster zooms in on a figure spotted in the woods. The large Neanderthal-like creature is studying something intently in the branches of the tree, unaware that it is being filmed. It has been suggested that it is stalking something. Is this an ape filmed from a deceptive angle that makes it look far larger than it is, or is it a Sasquatch? You be the judge. Depending on who you ask, the thylacine or Tasmanian tiger, as it is more commonly known, has been extinct for decades, or just really good at hiding. This sighting captured in Clifton Springs, Australia in 2019, claims to be the real deal. Resembling something closer to a wolf than a tiger with distinct dark stripes on its back and tail, the thylacine was hunted to extinction by European settlers, who held unwarranted fears that the carnivorous marsupials would attack their livestock. The last known Tasmanian tiger was given to the Hobart Zoo in Tasmania in 1931, and it died in captivity in 1936. More recently, cryptozoologists, hikers, and hunters have claimed to have spotted the animal, but a study conducted by scientists based on sightings suggests that they got it wrong. Some are adamant that the species are not extinct. The animal caught on camera here seems to represent a compelling argument. It does resemble a wolf, and the stripes are visible on its tail. Unfortunately, it might just be too far away to be considered conclusive. Our hopes are that scientific study did get it wrong, and that the species has managed to survive in some remote part of Tasmania far away from human interference and harm. This footage terrified me the first time I saw it. A creature that looks like a combination of a woman with some kind of feline animal. But what I then thought upon seeing this is that it looks similar to the legendary mythical creature known as Succubus, which is a kind of demon that appears in a female form, or supernatural entity in folklore, traced back to medieval legend. It is said to appear in dreams, and takes the form of a woman in order to seduce men usually through sexual activity. I am pretty sure this footage is fake as I am not exactly sure how anyone would be able to survive such an encounter if they do indeed exist in the first place. What do you think of this footage? The following video, shot in Fort Wilkins Historic State Park, claims to have captured a Sasquatch on camera. In the video, the large, furry humanoid creature is clearly seen walking through the forest, at some point realizing it has been spotted, it stops and takes cover blending into the environment. This is by far some of the closest and clearest footage we've seen in a while, and perhaps we've been conditioned to be skeptical of this kind of footage. Again, compare how this Sasquatch moves and the awkward way it peers through the branches, is it just me, or is it walking like it's got a bad back? The peering through the bush also feels staged. Sasquatch or hoax? Picture this. You've just moved into a new place. 
your first taste of independence. The only problem is that since you moved in your dog, won't stop yelping and clawing at the entrance hall closet. At night, he refuses to come up the stairs. You've also started hearing things. Sometimes a door will creak open, or just as you're falling asleep, the sound of footsteps coming up the stairs. This is exactly what this guy was experiencing in his new house. For these reasons, he decided to set up cameras to see if anything comes up. He sets one in the kitchen and proceeds to climb the steps towards his room. But just as he does this, something behind follows him upstairs. We can even see that this shadow figure has some sort of legs. Is it a ghost that is trapped in the house? Or is it something more malevolent lurking there? Avoid creepy abandoned buildings. They always attract the worst kinds of things. The poster of this video claims he got a skinwalker on camera. He went to explore an abandoned warehouse, but he started hearing things from a room. Rather than going in, he saw a window that allowed him to catch a glimpse of this. A humanoid figure seen standing almost motionless in the room. It does resemble some kind of zombie-like trance. Could this be a skinwalker? Or is it a fake video set up by someone trying to grab some attention? Remember the sheer joy that came with renting a movie? Going to the store and browsing the shelves for something new to watch. Hoping that whatever you chose was actually available and not already checked out. The guy in this security camera footage might not be as nostalgic. Watch what happens as he does the rounds packing the DVDs back on their shelves. It seems a playful poltergeist doesn't care that the store is closed and is pretty adamant they're going to check out something tonight. A surprising encounter occurs in St. Mary's, Idaho. The poster, out on an evening walk, startles a skittish fawn who, uncertain of what to do, makes a run back into the brush. What is surprising is what emerges from the bushes moments later. A large doe with a visibly twisted neck. She has obviously been drawn out of hiding to check up on the fawn. It is a miracle that the deer has managed to survive and give birth in her condition. The Department of Fish and Game are aware of the deer and say that it has been in the area for a number of years. Biologists think that the deer's neck was broken in an accident, but was not fully severed and it has somehow managed to beat the odds, even with a broken spine. Others are not convinced by this explanation and suspect something more sinister suggesting that the doe is a skinwalker that has shapeshifted into this peculiar form. Whatever you believe, it is an alarming and unusual sight and has led to locals christening her crooked neck deer. A TikTok poster shares a video of what they claim is a moose being stalked by what appears to be more than one Bigfoot. It's difficult to verify the Bigfoot claims in this instance. It's dark outside, and all that is visible from between the trees are two sets of eyes. It is possible these could belong to other moose. But as they move, no trace of an antler or ears is visible. It's definitely creepy, as one needs to remember that moose are large and very aggressive animals that can weight up to 1,500 pounds with few predators apart from humans. So if something is hunting them in those woods, it's got to be strong and big to stand a chance. A family picked the wrong place to camp when they spotted numerous eerie apparitions on camera. Facing a nearby wood, they witness a host of ghostly shadows moving between the trees. At first, there only appears to be one but the number quickly grows as the pale shadows shift. One appears suspended above the branches. The quality of the video is poor, but the presence of something haunting is clear. 
did something terrible happen on this land that it is populated by so many spirits. Oftentimes camping grounds can be notorious for being old battle sites or awash with unmarked graves. People who have visited such places claim to hear the sounds of men shouting, cannons and gunshots, and the sound of the military man drums. It isn't clear from the video whether the family decided to brave it and stay the night or make a quick getaway. A curious buck spots the camera on its nighttime prowl. With utter stealth, he quietly moves across the field of vision and continues to eat unperturbed. Had he suspected danger, he would have released a series of loud bellows to warn any others to be on the lookout. Two mysterious skeletons are discovered on a beach in Great Yarmouth, Norfolk. One is slightly larger than the other. What is unusual about them is that both seem to have tails like a fish. Are these mermaids or some convoluted hoax? This isn't the first time these skeletons have washed ashore. In the last three years, strange skeletons have appeared on a beach in the UK and in Australia. These skeletons were even longer, approximately six foot in length. It is unclear from the video the actual size of the skeletons which are in a grim state of decomposition. The one skeleton is in pretty bad shape and missing a few ribs. This is possibly due to being flung up against rocks, or it was the cause of death when this creature was still living. Some skeptics suggest that they are the remains of seals, but the skulls look remarkably human. Do mermaids exist? What do you think? A man comes running from the dark road ahead and is illuminated in the car's headlights where the person is filming. He appears to be afraid and excited at something he has spotted further on up the dirt track. The car undeterred continues to advance. A strange alien-like creature is seen shuffling across the road. The car stops some distance from it, while the man we encountered earlier returns for a closer look. It looks unlike anything we have seen before, almost like some kind of crab with short tentacles instead of claws. Is it some horrible fault of nature? It's difficult to tell from such a distance, which is a possible indication that it's a fake. The person filming seems extremely calm and quiet, and the feel of the video does seem to be staged with the arrival of the man in the beginning. Surely, they could have gotten a little closer, or at least zoomed in. This big boy has nothing to worry about come winter. His body will have plenty of reserves to keep him going. Most bears appear big and fat, but that is still not a reason to think you can outrun them. They are often pure muscle and faster than one would expect. However, obese bears like this one are becoming a little more common as they have discovered human food and started to raid homes, campsites, and dumpsters instead of hunting. Who can blame them when the food is so accessible? And it requires a lot less effort than running and hunting. Sadly, this also puts a target on their heads because they pose a threat to humans and have lost all fear of us. They will continue to get more brazen in their pursuit of food, some even breaking fences to get inside. American black bears are the most common bears in North America and are generally smaller and less aggressive than their grizzly cousins. The use of paintball guns to scare them away have been some of the non-lethal measures applied. But sadly, the lure of human food is just too great. A poster captures this alarming sight on a hike in the woods. A deer displays uncharacteristic behavior turning in circles. A couple of centuries ago, a sighting like this would warrant claims of possession or witchcraft. There are a few possibilities, but it seems that it's something worse. The animal is afflicted with an illness that impacts deer, elk, reindeer, and moose known as chronic wasting disease. An abnormal protein attacks the brain 
causing holes and lesions. This results in the animal's brain becoming like a sponge and leads to chronic weight loss, stumbling and confused behavior. There is no cure. The disease has a fairly long dormancy, and so by the time the animal starts to show these symptoms, death is imminent. A trail camera captures these bear cubs having a great time exploring with their mother. She is teaching them all about how to hunt and exist in the wild. One cub has mastered the art of lifting rocks in search of tasty insects or larvae that live underneath them. He even enjoys a quick lick of one before running off to join his family. Black bears usually birth two cubs. The cubs will stay with their mother for about 17 months before they are forced to stop traveling with her and fend for themselves. For now, these mischievous babies are having a wonderful time in their natural habitat and the protection of their mother. This time a concerned or annoyed mother wildcat appears, calling urgently into the darkness. No sooner has she finished calling when three adorable youngsters come bounding out of the bushes, heeding their mother's call. No doubt she is schooling her offspring on how to survive in the wild. Through watching and mimicking her behavior, they will learn how to fend for themselves. It is evident that she has sensed danger and her quick alert, and the pace at which they run off has spared them harm. Any idea what species of cat this is? Post in the comments. If you want to see more interesting footage, then watch this.